Hey guys, welcome back here to the channel. Hope you're all doing good today. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl last night. It was a pretty awesome game. Both teams did amazing. Rams pulled out the victory, but we're back with another highlight video today. And right here we have a small rack level 9 red deer. We got the 454, and we make a perfect shot there, and he goes down pretty quickly. We're going to pick him up right here, and he is a diamond 252.80, so he is a small rack and not very big. But look at the penetration there for the 454. I love the 454. It's an awesome gun. Uh, definitely my favorite handgun in the game and one of my favorite weapons overall in the game. I just love it. And right here we have another level 9 red deer. And this time it's Big Rack. And we smoke him there with the 454 as well. And he goes under the water and dies. And he actually stayed under the water because this is the lake that you can go under the water and stuff and walk under the water. And he actually just stayed under the water. And a 266 on that guy, uh, almost max weight, uh, about a little more than a pound uh, under max weight, but a big diamond red deer, 266, I think it's my second biggest diamond red deer ever, so that's a pretty nice diamond red deer, and got him with the 454, and right here guys, we have another big rack level 9 red deer, and we heart shoot him there with the 454, shoot his little buddy there as well, and we're going to claim him right here, and he is a diamond 265.90, so a little bit smaller than the last one. Not nowhere near uh, max weight, unfortunately. About six pounds off of max weight. But a pretty big diamond red deer once again. He was the big rack, so that's awesome. Always love getting the big rack diamonds. That's, uh, that's my favorite part of the grind besides getting the great one. It's getting the big diamonds. It's always nice. And right here, guys, we have an albino red deer hind. And we shoot her there with the 300 because she's just a female, so I don't really care about the score. And there she is there on the ground. Beautiful albino red deer. I absolutely love the albino red deer. And there she is. They look beautiful in my opinion. She was just a female. We did go ahead and mount her, though. Throw, in a, throw her in a lodge. Throw her in a multi-mount or something. But beautiful albino red deer. I love the albino red deer. I think they look amazing. I'm still very excited about that albino mythical that we got a little while ago. It's been about a week now, I think, but beautiful albino red deer there. It must have been from one of the hinds that I accidentally shoot sometimes, or sometimes I'll just shoot hinds for no reason, just for the heck of it. Um, must have respawned from one of those. She's beautiful, though. I love the albino red deer. I think they look amazing. Right here, guys, we have a level 5 fallow deer. We shoot him in the vertebrae there with the 454. We took a longer shot on him. He was a guaranteed troll. That's why I took the longer shot. He cannot make it with that rack. I pull out the M1 here to try to save him. And we miss this first shot right here because he stopped. Missed the second shot. And we hit the third shot, but it wasn't vitals either, so we didn't save him. He was a guaranteed troll anyway, so I don't really care. And we're going to pick him up right here. And he was a troll anyway, and we only got the silver medal because we messed him up. Shot him two times, and neither one of them hit vitals. So... He is messed up, but I don't really care. He's just a troll anyway. 227.40. So, it all, it's always nice to get a level 5 fallow deer. I never get sick of seeing the level 5 fallow deer. It's unfortunate that we messed him up. I always like trying to get the full score and everything, but I don't really. it's not a big deal that we messed him up since he was only a troll. Right here, guys, we have a small rack level 9 red deer. Shoot him twice there with the M1. The first shot hit vitals. Second one barely missed vitals. He goes down right there. And we're about to claim him right here. We're going to use him as a background. And he actually trolls. 247.80. I did not know the small rat could troll. Um, so this was a surprising experience because I didn't even think the small rat could troll. But he did. And he was a decent bit under it. A few points under diamond. But I did not know that the, that the small rat could troll. And you could tell by looking at him there he's a little bit wonky. And we look in the true score. And he is a little bit wonky. One main beam's longer than the other. Some points are longer than each other. So I'm assuming that's why he trolled, because he's wonky. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know this rat could troll, so that's interesting. And apparently he can troll, but uh, not that big of a deal. I don't really care if they make diamond or not anymore. It's just that ultimate go is that great one. And hopefully he'll show up soon. This grind's been insane. But we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I do have some more highlights. Uh because I've saved up quite a few highlights over the last couple days when we posted the Trophy Lodge tours. I hope you guys enjoyed that, though, the Trophy Lodge tour of my Whitetail Lodge and Rancho Lodge and stuff. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this video. I do have a few more highlights, so they'll probably be in tomorrow's video. 
But we're going to end this one. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope my great one, Red Deer, shows up soon. We're going to keep on grinding until he does. But, yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.